Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this! Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I just forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! What's up, fourth grade? Welcome to video number eight of the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. At this time, I would like for you to go ahead and pause the video and try number one and number two on your own. You should have the worksheet. Now, if you don't have the worksheet, there should be a link below that will help you get to a place where you can download the worksheet for this one and all of the fourth grade Math FSA Boot Camp Series as I upload them. So check that out, pause the video, throw down your best, come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, all right. So number one, let's take a peek at the problem. It says which statements, and I'm seeing five answer choices, which means that this is going to be a, what kind of question? Multi-select, that's right. If you did not write that down, jot it down now. Let's take a look here. It says which statements, so these down here are statements, even though they're numbers and symbols, they're still saying something. Which statements correctly compare? Ooh, compare means that we are finding greater than, less than, or equal to the two numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna take each one of these. A lot of times students tend to look at these too quickly and you need to make sure that you're slowing down to really investigate them, okay? Now remember, just to review quickly, I think about this in terms of it being an alligator mouth and the mouth is always going for the greater number, right? And what I like to do is compare the digits. So first, you have to see, do does each side have the same number of digits. For instance, here we have one, two, three, four, five digits, and one, two, three, four, five digits. It's the same all the way down. Because of that, then we can follow this next step. So we're gonna start in the greater place and compare. Now, we as teachers, we're always telling you all to show your work, right? To show your thinking. And this is how I show my thinking. I go three and three, they are the same, so we are moving on. Zero and zero, they are the same, so we are moving on. Six and six, they are the same, so we are moving on. Eight and eight, same. And then we have eight and six are different, so put a D for different. And which one is greater, eight or six? Eight is greater, right? Eight is the greater number, which means that 30,688 is greater than 30,686. So we're going to choose that one, okay? You can kind of do the same thing over here by slashing them out. Watch this. We can do three and three, they are the same. Zero and zero, they are the same. 
6 and 6, they are the same. 8 and 8, they are the same. And now comparing 6 and 8, circle the one that's greater, this one. So are they equal? No. What can we do? Eliminate. Make sure when you're eliminating, you're eliminating over here, not on the bubble. Next. 3 and 3, they are the same. 0 and 0, they are the same. 6 and 6, they are the same. 8 and 8, they are the same. 8 and 6, which one's greater? 8. But look, the alligator mouth, the, this is the less than sign. The alligator mouth is opening up towards this one, but this is not the greater number this one is because 8 is greater than 6. So we need to go ahead and eliminate this one because that's not true. This is saying that 30,000 688 is less than 30,686. That's not true. Next, we have three and three, zero and zero, six and six, eight and eight, six and eight. Different. Which one's greater? The eight. And are we eating the correct one, the greater one? We are. So D is a true statement. This is saying that 30,686 is less than 30,688. And finally, the last one, three and three, zero and zero, six and six, eight and eight, six and six. Oh my gosh, life is good. They are equal. So E is also true. Three correct answers for this one. <laughs> Listen. As a teacher, you do not understand how many times I will see just the answers on a student's paper, for especially for these kind of problems. Look how much thinking is here. Okay, it helps you not to mess up. Show your journey. Find a way to show your thinking to help you slow down and really analyze what's going on. That way you make fewer mistakes, okay? Number two. Number two, I see the word match. I see rows and I see columns. So this means this is a what kind of question type? Matching item. That's right. My favorite. Let's read it. Match each number written in standard form. Standard form is like the regular way. Okay. Like right here. Standard form. Regular way to write numbers. To its equivalent. What does equivalent mean? Equal expanded form. Now in McCarthy Math 155, I break down all the different types of expanded forms. And right here we see them. This is one type, this is a type, and this is a type. Okay, so we need to match the two numbers. I think it would actually be easier to take the columns and figure those out and match them to its appropriate standard form answer. What do you think? Let's do it. So this says two times 100,000 plus two times 10,000 plus seven times 1,000 plus four times 100 plus six times 10. Cool. That's a lot of numbers, but let's create the form like that. So if I, I'm looking at the first one now, I see two times 100,000. That means I'm going to have a two in the hundred thousands place. Now, if you need some help with your place value, again, I'm going to point you in the direction of McCarthy Math 155, where I break it all down. Are you ready to be a place value master? You need to check it out. Okay, I'll point you in the right direction. So stay tuned to the end of this episode. Back to our presentation. All right, so two times 100,000 means that in the hundred thousands place, I need the digit two. This is two times 10,000. So the 10,000 place is right here, right? Put a two, got that one. Seven times 1,000. So in the thousands place, er, I need the digit seven, right? And then four times 100. So in the hundreds place, er, er, I need the digit four. And six times 10, that means in the tens place, er, I need the digit six. And what goes here in the ones place? Zero, there's nothing there, so pop a zero there. And do we have a match? 
We do, ladies and gentlemen, come on down because G is the correct answer. Okay, next one. 22 ten thousands plus 47 hundreds plus six ones. We've got this. So 22 ten thousands. I'm going to write. So ones, tens, hundreds, comma, one thousands, ten thousands. I need 22 to land in the ten thousands. So here's this two. This two has to land in the ten thousands place, which means I've got another two before it. So there we go. Twenty two is in the ten thousands place. Twenty two ten thousands. Got it. Forty seven hundreds. So ones, tens, hundreds. Here's the hundreds place. Seven has to be the one that lands in the hundreds, which means what do I need right here? a four to make that 47 hundreds. And finally, six ones in the ones place, we put a six. So what needs to go right here in the tens place? There's nothing there, so we put a zero. Okay, again, I know I'm going kind of quickly through this because the purpose of this video is not to break every single step down but I do in McCarthy Math 155. So if you're confused with what I just did with this problem, or even this one too, I promise I have your back with McCarthy Math 155. Stay tuned, I'll point you in the right direction. So do we have a match? We do, right here, right? Come on down, choice B. And a lot of people might think, ooh, the only one we didn't use is this one. Let's make sure. We're not just gonna choose it because it's the missing one. We're going to choose it because it mathematically makes sense. Here we have 20,000 plus 4,000 plus 700 plus six. So I gotta go all the way to the 10 thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma, 1,000s, 10,000s. In the 10 thousands place, what digit do I need? A two. Okay, got that one. Then I need a four in the thousands place. Four in the thousands place. I need the digit seven in the hundreds place and six in the ones place. What goes in the tens place? A zero. All right, and does that match up with F? It does. And we can confidently choose F because we've mathematically made it make sense. Cool. Jot that down if you need to. And, and next I'm going to tell you where to go in McCarthy Math 155 for some more help. I know as a teacher that this was probably a unit that you all went through a while ago. In fact, usually place value, in fact, usually place value is one of the first units that you all do right when you start fourth grade. So it's been a while, right? But it's still super important. So I wanna encourage you that if you have not already tried McCarthy Math 155, there's a link below. Um, that will take you to where you can access the videos. Now you need to be a member to access the videos, but everyone gets a seven day free trial to check it out. So when you grab your seven day free trial, check out unit one and you will see a ton of videos clearly labeled on what is going on. There's also some worksheets right next to it too for you to be able to print out. Teachers, schools, districts, if you happen to use the McCarthy Math 155 series for your students as a daily consistent video series that really helps math make sense and they actually look forward to, then you will also have the ability to share these videos with your students. And I walk through how to do just that in the tutorials tab on my website. So please check out McCarthy Math 155 if you haven't already. It is the game changer that you're looking for, okay? Next, I'm also going to include a link to my How to Pass the Math FSA series that I created a few years back. The How to Pass series was created when the Math FSA was a computer-based test. It's not a computer-based test anymore, but it's still good practice. So I want to include that link and encourage you to go there for some more practice. I also encourage you to stay in the loop with everything that I'm working on and doing by following me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy, and of course I'm here on YouTube as well. If you're watching on YouTube, can you please do me a favor and click that like button if you found this video to be helpful. It really does help me to get the word out and these lessons out to more students. I really do appreciate it. In fact, why don't you go ahead and subscribe 
subscribe while you're here. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before I go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of a world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have the choice. And I will see you on the next episode.